Now be brave, young knight, to hear this fable story. Adventures of the squat table and of dragon glory. In Camelot, in the court of King of Fire, we must confess we do our best to hide the Queen's fair tire. was a queen named Griddle, heavily thighed and thick muddled. She was taken for ransom by a suitor unhandsome and... Um, uh, not much rhymes with Griddle. Oh well, let's see what's going on in Camelot, shall we? Hear ye, hear ye. Make way for King Allfire. Knights of the square table, arise! <laughs> Sir Galahot, the proper, ready to serve the king. Sir Hotbreath, the not so proper, ready to serve the king. <laughs> Sir Bernavere, the overly educated, obsequiously accessible to facilitate the monarch. We don't understand him either. Sir Blaze, the smartly dressed, ready to serve the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Sir Lautelot, ready to be served a king-sized breakfast. Flicker! Flicker! There's never a squire around when you need one. Flicker! Another invention? What do you call it, Flicker? A food cesspross of flame. Just the thing for making Loungelot's breakfast. <laughs> oh. oh, it uh, still needs a little fine tuning. Oops, Loungelot's calling. Oh, it's one glass of roughage on the way. Now then, knights of the square table, we are about to set off on the most sacred, the most elusive and secretive quest. The quest for the Holy Quail. What another quest? Ah, Queen Griddle. Well, actually, my dear, it's not another quest. It's the same quest we go on every year. The quest. For the Holy Quail! Did somebody say quest? <laughs> whoa, Trixie! Whoa, girl! Settle down, that's it. Sir Blaze, ready to service the king! Morning, Mumsy! Look, I got myself a new shiny crossbow. <laughs> Knights of the square table! And Blaze, prepare to raid! Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, good gracious. What he ever cares about are those silly knights and those ridiculous quests? <laughs> Is it too much to ask that a wife be showered with a few wagon loads of undivided attention from time to time? Hmm? <laughs> and so 
O ye old plot thickens as the evil spy of Castle Camelot carries the news to the dreaded Count Geoffrey de Bouillon, Lord and Master of Castle Threadbare. Down, da da. So, Queen Griddle's upset her tried and true windbag hubby isn't setting her fire ablaze anymore. <sighs> I have a plan. Evil Knights 1, 2, and 3. I want you to find the village monk, and then... <laughs> I will force our abducted man of the cloth to drink of a potion prepared by my most wicked of alchemists, Merle the Wizard. An evil brew that will... At your service, O oh evil heretic of Castle Threadbare. My enemies call me... The dreaded Count Geoffrey de Bouillon, oppressor par excellence of the poor and weak. Can I call you Jeff? Forget the potion. <laughs> you are described the most riveting and romantic poem of all time. There will... it will... I... It enraptures a dragon queen's heart to such overflowing capacity that she will be captivated in a hypnotic trance by the sheer beauty of your prose. Precisely. Then I'll use the poem to kidnap the queen of immense poundage and hold her for ransom with an asking price of nothing less than... Castle Camelhot. Have you finished oiling my socks? Yes, Sir Langelot. All done. <coughs> oh. Yes. Speaking of which, and careful with the hangnail. Now oh, listen up, Flicker. I've found yet a new way to get it good with Griddle, but I'll need a bottle of that perfume the others brought back from the Crusades. You know, Frankenstein, mirth, that sort of thing. I think it's frankincense and mirth. <sighs> Whatever you can get on sale. Better make that two bottles. Or better yet, just get the tub. I'll try, sire. But I don't think I can carry her. Not the queen! The perfume! With all fire and his knights off on their silly quail quest, it'll be the perfect chance for me to indulge in flirtatious acts of insincerity with the queen. <sighs> Such is the lowly lot of a squire. What could be worse? Da -da -da. So, how are we doing with the ode to her royal thunder thighs? Cat! A dirty job, but somebody had to do it. Read, oh, evil knights, one, two, and three. <gasps> um, uh, we just ate. Is it safe to read? How many times have I told you to practice your reading and writing? Blah, blah, blah. You missed a semicolon. Blah, blah, blah. Improper tense in the second verse. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, cute twist in the wrap-up, though. <laughs> it's, it's the, the most, most beautiful, beautiful thing we ever heard. Well done, old man. <laughs> ah, now this is what being a noble dragon knight to the square table is all about. What say, men? Out in the great outdoors. Uh, my apologies, sire, but I'm beginning to wonder if this holy quail even uh, exists. <coughs> huh? Duck! Uh, I thought it was queer. I got it! I got it! The Holy Pale! Not pale, Sir Blaze, quail! Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain of it. That's not even holy. It is now. <gasps> For the love of lizards, it's the Holy Quail! <laughs> Brave knights! Hey, let me say it this time. No, me! My turn. Halt. Who goes there? Message, Message for, for the, the queen. queen! Be down in a jiffy! <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Why don't they just put in a big door? Ah, your 
Majesty. Sensing that you were feeling a little down, I took the liberty of a little token of my devotion to the fairest queen in Dragondom. Oh, Launcelot! You are my favorite, my champion! Truths have never sounded so sweet as from your lips. Hear ye, hear ye! Message for Queen Griddle! A poem from a secret admirer. A poem for me! <laughs> Do read it! No! Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Semicolon. Blah, blah, blah. Improper tense in the second verse. Blah, blah, blah. Cute twist in the wrap-up. Blah, blah. P.S. Meet me outside the walls of Camelhot. My ravishing ampleness. Love your secret admirer. <laughs> secret admirer? How romantic! <laughs> but what about my gift? <laughs> Where are you? You're sweeping me off my feet. I love a little mystery. <gasps> Blazing dragons! <laughs> Princess Flame, your stepmother, Queen Griddle, has been kidnapped. <gasps> but who would do such a thing? Who else? The evil Count Geoffrey. Oppressor, Oppressor par excellence of the poor and weak. Secret admirer, you really know how to treat a lady. Oh, your spy! Aha! Count Geoffrey of Threadbare Castle in his evil knights levels one, two, and three! What is the meaning of this? I have no time to explain. I'm in the middle of a ransom demand. You're holding me for ransom? Oh, this is even better. How much are you asking for me? <laughs> Nothing less than camel hot. <laughs> I'm worth more than a big lump of real estate, you pencil neck. You'll have to up the ransom. Huh? I will personally dictate a list of ransom demands. Wait a moment. I'm the dictator around here. <laughs> Hold it. Evil knights numbers one, two, and three. I have a plan. I want you to find the village monk and... Huh. This could take a while. Well, so much for my eeny, meeny, miny, moo theory. Take heart, Sir Bernavere. We shall soon... I found it! I found it! The Holy Kale. Kale? It's sort of a cabbage. Yes, oh, yeah. Not so ah, well, it oh. Not kale! Kale! <laughs> After it, then! Sir Lancelot! Sir Lancelot! Queen Griddle has been kidnapped! Someone has absconded with my royal meal ticket? Call out the knights! That's just it. The knights are already out. All except you. Me? But I'm... preoccupied. But, sire... According to the Knights of the Square Table Code of Chivalry, Section 401, a knight must always save a damsel in distress. Aha! But Section 118 clearly states that a knight must always weigh the odds. And I do weigh less than her, you know. What's this, Sir Lancelot? Uh, ah, I was uh, just uh, saying... To arms, Flicker! Hurry, devise a rescue attempt where only you stand a chance of injury. Ah, 
out and about in the great outdoors, embarking on a noble quest. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Are we there yet? <laughs> Here they come! Time to give off fire the ransom note! With me! I want to! No, oh, me, you did it last time. <laughs> Ahem! Message for King Fire! We thank you, kind squirrel. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Facing dragons, the holy quail. No time for that now, I'm afraid. After him, noble knights. Oh. Duty calls. Duty calls? Well, of all the... Well, that's that then. No ransom. Take her back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not wanted. I'm staying right here. <gasps> I have a plan. I call forth the wicked alchemist. No! no. Not Merle the wizard! <laughs> <laughs> what now? I'm busier than a warthog's tail in fly time. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Queen Girdle. Enough of your female pleasantries. I have summoned you, O oh Wicked Witch, to concoct a horrible demise for our unwelcome guest here. With pleasure. Now, let me see. <gasps> What's that? Uh, 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 it's making my feelings rattle. Ah, stop that! Stop it, I say! Oh, no! They must be torturing Stepmother Riddle. <laughs> for dragon's sake! Do your worst! Unwanted by all as I am, I have nothing to live for. Fear not, milady, for it is I, Sir Loungelot. Oh, what is that evil smell? I'm afraid I can't smell a thing over your cologne. There's no one here. <clears throat> They've just stepped out to Merle the Wizard's Cavern of Despair, an occult museum, where they intend to feed Queen Griddle to the evil beast known as Yogmort the Many Fanged, thereby achieving the Queen's horrible demise, as is the dreaded Count Jeffrey's wand. <gasps> oh no! What manner of perilous place be this? Merle the Wizard's Cavern of Despair and Occult Museum. Two bucks ahead. Come on, cop it up. You too, sweetie. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Mother Merle brought a lovely treat. And as the legends would have it, fate intervenes in the form of... To the table. Meanwhile, around at the front entrance... <laughs> Blazing dragons are first insurmountable obstacle. Doesn't look too insurmountable. I insist that I stand guard outside, thus ensuring that no big bad scary things follow. Besides, I don't have any change. Well, aren't we lucky? <laughs> oh, unwanted, unloved be my name, abandoned by all. Cave rodent? Skip the sweet talk till after we're finished the job, Jeffy. Ew. <gasps> what are we going to do? Here, take the little one. His meat is still marinating in baby fat. Oh, 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 oh end the misery of this empty heart. With pleasure. You want your treat? You have to roll over. Oh, despair, and what a sock in it, you flea-bitten mongrel. You're ruining my soliloquy. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The boundless despair. 
the pangs of anguish, sorrow, and resentment. Oh, that's it! <laughs> Research it! Left without love? Don't leave us! Honestly, Flicker, how do you expect to be a knight if you're scared of the slightest thing? <laughs> what is it, Flicker? Stay back, Flame! It may be dangerous! Does no one want this poor soul? I forgot to mention I'm going back to the castle. Anyone want to live? So sorrow and all fire at the knights of the square table! You all come to save me! Yes, dear! <clears throat> well, of course, uh, naturally. Um, you wouldn't have happened to see a little quick. <laughs> Holy Quail! Lancelot, you came to save! Knock it off! For you, my liege. Sir Lancelot, you will be hailed as the one who at long last found the elusive Holy Quail. Your appellation will be etched in epoch. In other words, you'll be famous. <laughs> I know you're the one who risked yourself to save my stepmother, Flicker. Then that's reward enough, my lady. Are we there yet? Well, now that we've uh, found the Holy Quail, uh, what do we do with it? Pass me a drumstick, will you? With the quail and the quest put to rest, King Allfire and Knights did attest that with Griddle's fine mood came laughter and food. So, hey, it turned out for the best. Sorry!